Hey everybody, it's Kenton Rifus yet again with some edited sound stuff on the recording software. I noticed in the Thanksgiving special I was quite a bit loud sounding. Um, my recording, excuse me. So I lowered the sound amplifier from my microphone by a bit, making sure I was unmuted there. So. I figured I'd do more BuzzFeed quizzes for my first thing since uh, I will get back to the Extra Life series, so look forward to that. Anyway, can you pass this weird true or false quiz? Animal tests will determine your best quality, recognize food without color. Ah, yeah, because it's post-Thanksgiving I'll do this one. Uh, this picture test will tell you what kind of Thanksgiving you'll have. Credit to all the creators of these quizzes, and credit to BuzzFeed, by the way, for them. Choose the leaf that's most like you. What? How? How? Which leaf here is the fattest? This leaf looks the fattest. Which picture excites you? The hand-holding, I'm sentimental. I'm sentimental and romantic. Choose the place setting of your dreams. Uh, let's see here. This one seems... F eh, this one seems a little bit simpler. All these seem way too hipster for the kind of person I am. But this one seems pretty simple. However, I do prefer white plates, but I'm going with simplicity here. Which picture brings you peace? Uh, all these are... Oh my god, all these are fairly peaceful, but none of them have snow, so I'm kind of disappointed. I, I like this setting. The, being there would bring me peace, so that's what I'm going for. Choose the turkey you want at your table. Are they turkeys? <laughs> Should totally go with this one. But, uh, no. I'm going with the culinary side here. This one looks like the one we had today, but this one looks nice and fancy. I'm going with this one. You got terrible! The thing is, to well, yesterday. Yesterday wasn't all that terrible. And actually, I might do more than one upload today. Oof. Your Thanksgiving is going to be awful. The turkey may catch fire, or a relative might start a huge fight. In any case, brace yourself for a not-so-great evening. Tomorrow will be a better day. Can we guess your relationship status based on your Thanksgiving food options? The turkey knows it all. Yeah, let's do that one. This is more of a Thanksgiving special than the last thing was, but oh well. What time do you usually eat on Thanksgiving? Uh, today we ate around closer to seven, five, seven. What do you drink with your meal? I drank soda. Or pop, or whatever you call it. Which meat? White meat or dark meat? White meat, dark meat, turkey is disgusting, I don't eat meat. I eat both, but I do have a preference to the white meat. What's better, canned cranberry sauce or homemade? I've never had homemade, so canned. Which is hilar which is hilarious in the way it jiggles and just the noise it makes when you hit it. It makes a nice flap. Pick a side dish. Stuffing, mashed potatoes, green beans, sweet potatoes. Oh, well, my whole plate is sides. Something totally different. Potatoes! And finally, choose a pie. Oh, God, all of these are Thanksgiving for me. Not a pie person myself. What kind of person chooses that? Who does not like pie? What kind of person doesn't like pie? I mean, you've got a nice, a nice crust of some assortment or another, usually pastry. And you've got so many variations of fillings, like different kinds of fruits. And you've got the, you've got the pecan, and you've got pumpkin, and just, oh my god, so many. And cheesecake, New York-style cheesecake. Oh, freaking love that. Anyway, let's stop and let's choose. Ugh. As a pie person, this really bugs me. Apple, I'm drawn towards Apple. You got in a relationship. Wrong! Oh, God. That gif. Or gif. That gif slash gif. Spending Thanksgiving with that special someone is so nice, isn't it? I wouldn't know. 
And remember, on Thanksgiving, there's no, there's so much food to go around, you don't have to share for once. Win! Okay, that one was fun, especially the Pyrant, but why this chiff? And now we're at how ethical are you? Now, I'm not going to answer this in the most ethical way, probably. I'm going to answer it in the most me way, like, both realistically and what I put out there on YouTube, which is pretty much the same thing. You see a child lost in a supermarket, what do you do? I walk past, I'm busy and it's not my concern. I talk to the child and look for their parent. I alert a member of staff and get them to make an announcement. That one. Eh. I'm in the middle, I'm good with that. 12% of people, that's 940... 94.5 thousand people said, Screw this kid. Too busy for it. Shouldn't have got lost, motherfucker. Your good friend and co-worker receives a promotion over you. How do you react? I'm gutted I didn't get it, but we'll continue to be friendly. I'm thrilled for them. It was a tough call between us. I cut off all ties and resent them forever. I'm thrilled for them. I mean, they're my good friend. How am I gonna be mad over that? Like, hey, if they thought you were as equal if you, they thought you were more deserving for this, there's probably a good reason for it. You find 20 euro on the train. Is that euro or pound? I can't tell what the font they used. You find 20 money on the train. What do you do? I keep it. If someone else found it, they do the same. I leave it there. I take it and donate the 20 pound to charity. Now see, that font I can read. I try to run after whoever must have left it there. Well, likely you wouldn't figure out who the person who owned it was? Yeah, charity. Wow. I mean, this one, yeah, a lot of people need the extra cash from time to time. Well, most of the time anymore. But, like, I mean, this one I understand. That's dedication to being a good citizen. Uh, leaving it there, I can see a lot of people doing that, but I'd donate the 20 as best I could. Would you ever donate an organ? I have to choose no, because in reality, I'm a type 1 diabetic, and legally, I can't. Like, nowhere. I unfortunately have to choose the least ethical answer. When was the last time you did a good deed? Oh, I did do one today. My dad is a truck driver for Indiana Western Express, or IWX, and he wasn't- he only got about an hour or two worth of time at home. But he couldn't come home. He had to stay at the terminal. So, Mom and I took him Thanksgiving dinner, which was really cool. And we also brought his uh, co-driver Thanksgiving dinner, which was really fun, actually. Your best friend reveals she has strong feelings for your ex. How do you react? I'm over it. They can date if they want to. I guess if their feelings are very strong, I wouldn't stand in their way. That would undermine our friend. That would undermine our friendship. That's not okay. Uh... I'm either or depending on the day, but I'm drawn towards this one. Because, like, standing their way to me means I take too much time. I try to avoid it as much as I can, but if I can't, I do. Oh, hey, I'm tied. Sort of. Your grandmother gets you a gift you don't like. What do you do? I tell her I don't like it and ask for the receipt. I pretend to like it and bury it away somewhere or try to exchange it. I love it anyway because it was a thoughtful gift. Now that is me. That's even when she offers to give me the receipt, if I don't like it, to take it back and get money for just something else. Because even if I don't like it, I always end up keeping it. There's probably a few things in here that are those gifts. I love the greeting. You're running late. An elderly woman asks you to help her cross the road. What do you do? I help her regardless. If my higher-ups do not understand that... I have a moral obligation, well, not really an obligation, yes, yeah, sir, obligation being the best word in the English language, but I have a moral obligation as a person, as a human being in general, to help this old lady, because in the end, it's things like that that make life worth living, not some 9 to 5 job that earns you money. Well, I mean, yeah, it does, in a sense, make life worth living, because you can buy a house, a car, and all the other things you need in life, but... That's, that's the moments that you really that you really need. You see someone fall down. What do you do? If it's a friend, I laugh and take a picture. I immediately go over to help them up. I ignore it so it's not to attract attention. Laugh hysterically and embarrass them. I go over to help them. That is me to a T. Do you think you're a good person? <clears throat> no. Hi, guys. I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to check out all the links below in the description. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have a suggestion for a video 
or a specific quiz on BuzzFeed or anything in general, check out the comment section. And most of all, share this video with your friends and family. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. If they don't, I apologize. Thank you all so much, and I will see you later. Bye.